Hey friends, this is Atif Hope here. Well and welcome to the new update on Bitcoin. Previously, I shared so many signals favoring the breakout. For example, uh, this was a bullish bad pattern formed on the daily time frame chart. And even before this, we have seen so many uh, harmonic moves that Bitcoin was forming in a very, very strong support zone. And this was the bullish bad pattern. I shared first it at the, uh, at the Patreon and then with you as well. And at that time, the price line was completing the final leg. By the way, I'm also sharing the different trading ideas on the daily basis at the Patreon. And if you would like to support me there, then I have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there. Okay, this was the bad pattern. And you can see at that time, the price line was moving at $33,000. And I told my members at the Patreon that the price action may complete this final leg of the bullish bad. And from here, we can expect another bullish reversal move. Now, I'm just going to play the chart and you can see that the price action is reverse bullish from here, even though we had a very long spike beyond this sell zone, buying zone. And now the price action has entered this sell zone. And after that, I also shared this uh, falling wedge pattern on the daily time frame chart, uh, this bullish reversal shark move, and also this falling wedge on the four hourly time frame chart. And if we take a look at this uh, falling wedge on the daily time frame, that was a very strong support. You can see that the price action was uh, for the past several days, it was uh, trying to break out this resistance of the falling wedge and also tested the support as well. Uh, and now I'm just going to play the chart and you can see that finally the price action has broken out this resistance of the falling wedge. Here it also retested this very strong support zone from $31,000 to $28,000. And after testing this support zone, the price action has reversed bullish again. And if we take a look at the candlestick patterns that I shared in my previous videos with you, that the price action has, we, we are also having the dodgy dragonfly candlestick uh, two times appeared here. And after this sell off, we had a bullish engulfing candlestick that has canceled this sell. Therefore, there is a chance for the breakout. Now we can see this is a live daily time frame chart. And here we can see that after breaking out, the price action is moving towards the upside. Now, if we take a look at the volume, then here I have also placed the volume oscillator as well to measure the power of buying volume. For example, uh, here you can see the value of this volume oscillator. This is the value and I'm just going to place it here when we had this bullish candlestick appeared with the powerful buying volume. And you can see that the value was more than 10. That is enough to change the trend. However, pre previously we have already seen that uh, here we had the value more than uh, 18, but the price action could not break out the resistance. But this time with the value 10, the price action has broken out the resistance of this falling fetch. Therefore, it is also possible that the price action will hit the, this, support, uh, this tail of the falling bed that is a technical target of this falling bed that is approximately at $41,000. Now here, I would like to show you this directional movement index. And after a long time, we are again uh, uh, going to receive this buying signal. This blue line is going to cross up this orange line. This blue line uh, is positive directional index and, and this orange line is the negative directional index. When this blue line crosses up this orange line, that is the buying signal. And here we receive the sell signal because this orange line crossed up this blue line here. Now, after a long time period, you can say after 18th of April, uh, for the first time, we are going to uh, receive this buying signal again here. And you can see that this ADX is moved down because the ADX shows the power of uh, buying or selling. Uh, uh, when we had this orange line above the blue line and this ADX was moving up, that was showing the power of bears, the sellers. Now, if, if you can see that the ADX is moving down. So once we will receive this uh, cross, this bull cross between the blue line and orange line, and this ADX will start moving up, then it will be showing the power of bulls, the power of buyers at that time. So it is very important signal. Once we will receive after this a long time, we are just going to receive the signal right now. And maybe uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we will receive this buying signal. Then the price action can start a very big move like previously we received this signal here 
and you can see that the price action turned very very strong bullish and it rallied more than sixty four thousand dollars from thirty eight thousand dollars so we can expect another very big move after this powerful bullish signal that is just going to be appeared now if we take a look at this chart again then here uh, we can see that we have a very strong upcoming resistance here that is at $36,000 and after that we will have another very powerful resistance that will be at $39,500. You can see that previously we have so many rejections here and then uh, here we also have so many rejections and the price action uh, even after um, making so many attempts but the price action is rejected again and again from here and here as well. Therefore, we have two challenges. Once the price line will be able to cross up these levels, then we can expect a very powerful move towards the upside. You can see that we have no significant resistance up to 50, approximately $50,000 from here after breaking out this $39,500 resistance level. Now, there is one thing I'm worried about, and that is that after breaking out a powerful resistance of this falling wedge, we're not watching any um, retest of this previous support because after and uh, normally the price line does that after breaking out a powerful resistance levels the price action move down retest the previous resistance as a support it starts the next move towards the upside we have a minor retest here uh, when the price line was breaking out let me show you from my previous article this was my previous article and you can see at that time we had this minor retest here very uh a very small bearish candlestick was retesting this previous resistance as support that can be also sufficient but i was expecting a huge rally a big rally like we are uh, having a big rally right now and after that i was expecting it will retest and confirm this breakout and it will start the next move towards the outside however it is also possible that the price line will continue its rally after this small retest as well and once the price line will be able to uh, reach here at the tail of this uh, falling wedge that is a technical target of this falling wedge at the same time the price line can also uh, move above this ema weekly ema 21 and here we can observe a lot more buying once the price line on the weekly time frame chart will be closed above this level so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and if you would like to support me at the patreon because here i am sharing the different trading ideas on the daily basis you can find here then i have also shared the link in the video's description take care goodbye